What's going on, folks? Happy Monday. Is it really Happy Monday? Labor Day? I guess it is Labor Day. Anyway, I just want to jump on here real quick and talk about uh, all the fires that are going on out here in California. It's very, uh, by far, one of the worst fire, actually, I'd say the worst fire season we have ever seen out here in Northern California, by far. Um, it kind of got a late start, I guess. I mean, it kind of sucks to be living in a state where we have fire season, you know, where it's just a, a, a yearly thing. Uh, but it did get a late start. It's it's probably got a couple months of, of burning left to do before we start seeing our rainy season sometime in November, if we're lucky, here in California. Uh, we got some major strong winds coming up into the region tonight, late tonight, into... Uh, Tuesday and also into Wednesday morning there high wind war or uh, uh, wind advisory in effect for our area for uh, 45 to 50 mile per hour gust out of the north and it's gonna help with clearing out some of the smoke here in the valley but it is gonna be a fan to the flame on these fires out here and this is just the active fires folks these are just active fires California is pretty much burning up completely, completely. Let me show you guys a little image here real quick. This is just a still shot from when this um, fire down near Fresno blew up. This is some of these cloud tops here on this satellite image was reaching 50,000 feet. 50,000 feet up in the air from these pyrocumulus clouds here. And a lot of folks thought that uh, maybe Long Valley super volcano erupted. I think if that was the case, it would be much, much more dramatic than what we're seeing here. Plus, that's definitely not what's going on here. No volcanic eruption, uh, no fires uh, due to the San Andreas Fault or any other type of volcano or fault structure out here in the state of California. This is strictly, a lot of it's got to do with lightnings. These fires up here to the north of me, uh, within this region right here, I'm kind of blowing the smoke here, but here in the valley, we're pretty socked in with smoke today. Uh, but these fires here along the coast range started by lightning uh, a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago, and they're still burning. Fire down here near Fresno and er other areas down south, also lightning caused. Some of these new ones, though, I heard it was a uh, a gender reveal party. You know those uh, how you have smoke bombs that kind of uh, light up the colors of, of the gender of the baby, blue, pink. You know, I guess that's what started one of these major fires down there in the south. It's a pretty scary situation there. Check out this loop here real quick, folks. This is uh, 240 loops. Look at how blown up. Let's see if I can get that a little bit uh, bigger there. Look how blown up these pyrocumulus clouds get here. Well, that's kind of today. But watch up here where it really starts to get going. You can see that right there, see those cloud tops? Boom. There is so much dry forest down there. And yes, they have forests up there in the uh, mountains to the east of Fresno and, and the uh, area down there. Lots of, lots of forests actually, but it's all dry. Um, lots of pine, beautiful pines down there, but it's completely, completely dry with no rain. And what happens when you have a fire in steep terrain down there in the, uh, the in the mountain areas? You get a, a massive amount of fire. This fire blew up here northeast of Fresno. Um, it's called the Creek Fire here, it looks like. Creek Fire. There's a couple specs on it. Uh, start date was on the 4th. 78,000 acres already burned. Already, with just within a couple days because of this steep terrain, because of the mountainous areas right here where this fire has taken place here um, and completely dry. Look, some of these peaks up there, 9,000 feet up there. Um, there's just canyons, valleys, and perfect breeding environment for a major, major fire. And most of the fires here in California have started in the mountains. We hardly have any here in the valley. Of course, there's really nothing to burn here in the valley. Just rice fields and orchards of uh, um, almonds, olives, uh, a lot of agricultural stuff going on here in the Sacramento Valley and the San Joaquin Valley. 
down here to the south so we don't get fires but up here in the mountains it, it's pretty much everything's on fire out here in california it's it's absolutely horrible and this one here next to me is by far one of the worst ones i've ever seen i used to go up here and i was just up there i took my nephew up there up into this mountainous area uh to the snow over the winter time the beautiful areas beautiful green trees um just awesome peaceful up there now you look at the outline of it it's completely burned um, I'll probably go up there once this fires out to see what it looks like but that's that's still burning really strongly down there but the big one there folks in Fresno or at least northeast of Fresno stirring up a lot of talk on the internet about Mammoth Lakes right Long Valley Super Volcano and I've heard and I've seen quite a few posts out here on Facebook Twitter on YouTube some notable names as well mentioning that possibly Mammoth Lakes is erupting and it's creating this fire that is causing these huge tops up there to blow up 50,000 feet in the air an image like that this was from the Fresno County area Creek fire right uh, just a couple days ago when it was really blowing up it looks like a volcanic eruption doesn't it 50,000 50,000 feet up in the air these pyrocumulus clouds are but it's not it's not because of Long Valley super volcano for one okay the obvious region reason location the mountainous areas up here full of pine like I mentioned a lot of dry underbrush mammoth lake sits way over here to the northeast and I think if a volcanic eruption was continuing like that, we would know about it. There's Long Valley Super Volcano, and you got the outline of the caldera right here within this region. This is on the western side of the Sierra Nevada right here. Nothing to do with Long Valley Super Volcano. So I kind of want to put that word out there. Um, and, and I hate seeing people read and actually believe some of these articles that the San Andreas Fault is causing these fires up here. Or a volcano is causing these fires that is not the case please do your research folks a lot of relevant information and factual information out here on the Cal Fire uh, website here fire.ca.gov and you can go to any incident here and click on it and get information from um, from the uh, Cal Fire folks there on you know containment and whatnot and, and where it's at the location acres burned the percentage contained a lot of times you will see, uh, we can go over here to view details. A lot of times they state the reason for or, or what may have caused the fire. Um, I'm not seeing it on here, but it does talk a little bit about it. It's just, uh, it's good that you get your information from uh, real sources. Anybody can make a video out here, folks, and state that Long Valley Super Volcano is erupting or the San Andreas Fault is causing these fires here. San Andreas Fault sits over here to the west. Yes, unfortunately we've had fires up here, but it's also the fault system is in the mountainous areas here where there is trees and hills and valleys and stuff like that where fires have started, but it's not because of the San Andreas Fault or any volcano for that matter. Um, so just, uh, you know, it, it just bugs me when people try to fear monger the, uh, the vulnerable, I guess, you know, out there. So just do your research. Make sure you get some information from factual sources. There's a big one down by San Jose as well. A lot, I mean, California is on fire. That's, that's all there is. This is a yearly thing, folks. It happens, unfortunately and I I don't like it I think it's time to I think it's time to leave the Golden State here for me anyway uh, there's just not a whole lot keeping me here and uh, you know it's it's scary it's just it's it's getting really bad unfortunately fire has become a um, commercialized business for the most part if you really think about it Every year we have these bigger fires and, and more and more 
uh, jobs are created, firemen, right? Um, there's a lot of people dependent on fires and man, it's scary. It is really scary to think that, uh, you know, this is turning into some, something commercially, a fire business, if you will. Look at that. Look at the smoke plumes out here. The entire West, just a, almost the entire state, folks, on fire. And Colorado's got some big ones out there, too. I see that. It's not a good, uh, not a good year at all for fires. Check out this view right here kind of looks like a volcanic eruption does it not that is crazy absolutely crazy so um i think uh you know i think it's going to get worse before it gets better here uh with this wind situation coming up into the uh, uh, the state tonight and also uh, into areas of Washington and Oregon as well gonna see some high winds um, I think these it's gonna really flare up these fires dramatically and uh, make it so much worse once the uh, once the wind dies down there it's gonna these numbers are definitely gonna increase in size and um, I feel bad for uh, I feel bad for everyone out here I feel bad for myself <laughs> I have to stay inside all day, you know, and it's, I'm an outdoor person. It's so smoky, it's so hot, it's just, it's really extremely nasty is the word out here, folks, and uh, not good. Not good at all. Simple search of the creek fire there on Google shows, uh, you know, what the firefighters are having to deal with and, and, um, you know the the scenery up there it's not just bare land it's pictures you can see an obvious in all of these pictures here mountainous pine areas all underbrush burning you know the trees are green yes but they're pine i mean i've i christmas trees go up just like that if they get dry so imagine you know unlimited amount of christmas trees and a big fire with mountainous area with a mountainous terrain it's a perfect environment for fires out here in California and pretty soon there's not going to be anything left of this state. Um, so might be checking out of here pretty soon. I don't know when, but uh, it won't affect the live stream, but it's just looking horrible out here. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about, uh, you know, just be cautious. Be careful where, where you get your info from. No fault is affected is starting these fires and no volcanoes are um, creating fires out here either okay just trying to put an end to some fear-mongering that's going on out there on Facebook and and YouTube 